I have really enjoyed working with Angular 17 since it came out in mid-November of 2023. But the reality of it is that as of February 15 of 2024, the industry is just not adopting Angular 17 as one would think. If you look at the downloads at the NPM site, you look at the download stats for the past seven days. Um, if you combine Angular 15, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, and even the versions that's lower than 10, uh, it surpasses all the downloads for 17 and 17 subversions. And uh, you look at, for example, between 15 and 16. Why is 15 more popular than 16? Well, they introduce signals in 16. And I think that developers are hesitant to learn yet another API, Angular API, in the form of signals, because signals was very gently introduced in 16. But um, is yet another API that you have to learn with Angular. Don't get me wrong, I like Signal. Uh, I think Signal is much nicer to work with than the RxJS observable that uh, by default is the async mechanism with Angular. Um, so that's rather disappointing. So in terms of the big three front-end library and framework, Angular has always lagged behind the other big two. But if you look at the trend line for uh, the time span of November, mid-November, when Angular 17 came out, it barely budged. So what this tells me is that there was absolutely no excitement for Angular 17 and its um, you know, more gradual uh, adaptation of signals, which is rather disappointing because Angular 17, in my very humble opinion, is probably the best Angular version that they introduced yet, but I think it's so far behind that um, it's hard to generate any traction. As a basis for comparison, let's compare the past seven days worth of downloads for Angular, React. React 18.2 has been out for two years, and in the past seven days, it's get, it got 7.4 million downloads. And then for Vue, uh, the latest version of Vue came out three days ago, and it had, it has 92,000 downloads already. The long term, longer term version 4.18, 3.4.18, 138,000. Now there's one stat that is quite alarming to me, and that is the amount of downloads for the last version of AngularJS, version 1.7.4, 6,300 downloads in the past seven days. And you look at the other version of AngularJS, even older than 1.7.4, still getting downloaded, which is quite worrisome to me because Google has sunsetted AngularJS in January of 2022, and there are no more security patches. You have to go to another company to help you secure your app. And there are companies still using AngularJS, and one has to be concerned about the vulnerability of the circular dependency in these NPM packages. So I guess here is 
the moral of this story. If a front-end developer were to be hired for a quote-unquote Angular job today, I think that most likely they will be involved in updating or upgrading AngularJS, perhaps AngularJS version 1.7.4 or even older to a newer technology. But will that newer technology be Angular 17 or something else? I guess you have to ask yourself this. If a company is so far behind and have incurred such a massive technical debt, and this is indeed a massive technical debt, are they or will they be willing to spend the dollars to main, upgrade and maintain such a labor-intensive front-end framework? Because Angular 17 is a completely different technology than Angular JS. Heck, Angular 2 was a completely different framework entirely. But then the other part of the equation is that you can either spend a dollar amount to upgrade Angular JS to a newer library or framework, or you can deal with the lawsuits that might come if you should ever have a security leak that AngularJS might have a part in playing because it's so old and those very old NPM packages might have security holes in them. So I think that is the reality of working with Angular. Okay, so if you if you enjoyed my video, uh, please cons consider liking and subscribing. Uh, also, I, I don't want to sound like um, I'm denigrating Angular. I like Angular, especially Angular 17. It's just that I don't want to be a fanboy of any one technology because I think that when you are when you fall prey to fanboyism of any technology then you get tunnel vision you get tunnel vision and you become in love with the technology and then and you end up incurring a whole lot of technical debt um, again if you enjoyed my video please consider liking and subscribing to my channel i'll see you next time thank you for watching